Just a week ago, I posted my first video on the brand new Leica Q2 monochrome. And this is the Q2 monochrome. This is my Q2. So here we have a color sensor, 47 megapixels. Here we have a pure monochrome sensor, also 47 megapixels. And don't be misled by size here. I mounted by now my hand grip coming from the Leica Q2 on the Q2 monochrome because I'm still testing out this new camera here. And that makes the camera a little bigger. The hand grip from the classical Q2 fits nicely on that camera. It's almost the same finish. The texture is not the same on the hand grip and the camera body, but that doesn't irritate me. So I'm happy with that solution and I don't have to use an X strap. Contemplating about these two cameras in the last days, I developed the following thought. The autofocus of the Leica Q2 is based on contrast and there is no face detection for the autofocus implemented in these cameras. Other camera systems use face detection, so that's the kind of new Canon EOS R5 with the 28 to 70 millimeter f2.0 lens. And the Canon EOS R5 has one of the best autofocus systems I have ever seen and tested. There will be video coming very soon before year end where I show my results. And I will put this camera side by side from time to time in the video to show the difference between contrast and face detection autofocus. And clearly face detection is something which can help a lot if the contrast is not where you hoped it would be. And uh, since the Leica Q2 monochrome has no color filter and is actually drilled, calibrated, optimized for contrast, light and shadow, I developed the thought that probably the autofocus on the monochrome should be quicker and more spot on than what we see on the classical Q2. That's something I'm going to test out in this very short video. Let's get started. The first thing I want to do is making sure that both cameras in the same shooting mode to make them comparable. And I will not test all different types of autofocus settings you can do here. I will just focus on the ones I use most of the time in my own personal workflow, but hopefully it will show the similarities as well as the differences. Let's see what we get. Let's start with the classical Leica Q2. And looking into the status screen here, I'm in aperture priority. So I have set the aperture here to the widest open setting, which is f1.7. The reason that I'm doing this is because wider open, it's harder for the camera to focus. That's a rule of thumb. I'm here in autofocus single. So I do not use continuous autofocus here. I'm on field autofocus, which I think is suitable for my little test here. And all the other settings are kind of standard here. I'm on spot metering, but that doesn't, you know, affect the focus behavior, it affects the light metering. And I'm on ISO auto as well as on automatic mode on shutter speed. Now, contrast autofocus reacts to contrast, simple like that. And I have chosen the same model or comic figure I used in one of my previous videos. It's a character from The Witcher. And uh, clearly there is plenty of contrast here. If you look at the figure, and you look at the white background, the camera should spot on, recognize where the focus needs to sit and should take a picture. So let's try this out. If we look into that, currently it's blurry. Now let's focus, listen to the tiny little beep here when the focus sits and how quick this is. Spot on, immediately there. And if I focus on the face now, I can take that image if we go into play and just zoom this is a sharp picture. The focus sits where it should sit. Let's now quickly set up the monochrome in the same shooting parameters here. So I have autofocus single. I have field autofocus here. I have single drive mode and I have spot metering for light. Um, on ISO, I'm, let's go, sorry, let's go back here into ISO. I'm on auto, so that's all the same. I'm an aperture priority at f1.7. This is interestingly enough grayed out here on uh, the Q2 monochrome, whereas on the Q2, I think this is not grayed out and you could also touch here, which is interesting. That's not possible on the Q2 monochrome, just something I noted a moment ago here. So it's just set here on the lens into aperture priority f1.7 and then we are good to go. And here on the shutter speed, I'm on auto two. So we have the same situation as on the classical Q2. Now, if we focus somewhere, I actually should set up the beep here. You can set up the beep if you go into acoustic signal 
and then you go to autofocus confirmation. This is now set to on. And now when I focus, it should give me that little beep here. Yeah, that works. So let's focus on the face in the same way as we did with the classic Leica Q2. And uh, let's take the shot. Listen to the beep. Spot on, image taken. If we look into that, sharp, very good in the way it should be. Spot on, autofocus on both cameras if there is plenty of contrast. Now, to go into the other extreme, if there is no contrast, there is no autofocus on these cameras. And I can just show this quickly on the Leica Q2 here. So if I point the focus field on the white plane table here, there will be no focus. Just watch this. The frame turns red. Uh, you hear basically how the lens is trying to work, but it's not giving me any focus. If I have contrast, I get focus. If I don't have contrast, red frame, no focus. And if there's absolutely no contrast, nothing the camera could pick up, then I also don't get focus on the Leica Q2 monochrome. Just watch this. This is now the monochrome. Let's first test it here. Contrast gives focus. No contrast. No focus, red frame. So that's the same. Clearly, this is full in line with what we saw on the Leica Q2. If you have a contrast autofocus system, even the, let's say, optimized sensor for contrast and black and white in the Leica Q2 monochrome cannot fix that problem. There is no autofocus. Clearly, it turns out that on that white glossy polish of the table, also face detection cannot find focus. And the Canon EOS R5 here is lost in the same way as the Leica Q2s, as we can see here on display. Contrast autofocus systems like we have them in the two Q2 cameras don't really need an awful lot of contrast. And uh, I want to illustrate this quickly. So here is a print from a golden spiral. There will be a video once in a while when I'm done because I use this for composition of photos and I want to explain the mathematical background of this on my channel when I'm done with the video, not at this point in time. And if I turn this around and place it on the table like this, you still see a little bit of that spiral, but uh, since you turned it to the other side, it's not a lot of contrast you see here. So let's get this straight and let's test the cameras out. We start with the classical Q2 here. So let's focus on the horizon first and then let's have a look at that paper here. Red. Well, if I search around a little bit here. Here it found some contrast and that's actually, if I place this into backlight where the spiral is converging into the golden ratio point here in that image composition. And when I turn the camera to this point here, I actually find focus. If I place this somewhere else, no focus, red frame. Now let's do the same with the monochrome and let's focus on the horizon first. So now I'm First of all, placing it to that convergence point to the golden ratio. Finds focus immediately. Let's go to the horizon again. Let's point this again somewhere else. Red, same problem. Absolutely nothing to detect for that camera. If we go to the boundaries of that sheet, it also doesn't detect anything where it could lock in the focus. And the same actually happens with the Leica Q2 classical, so this is not working. The Canon EOS R5 in contrast with its face detection autofocus system actually does a much better job here. You see that on different parts at the boundary but also at the sheet, the camera does actually recognize focus and locks the focus in. And that clearly is the big advantage you have if you have a face detection system because it will react in systems where contrast autofocus is no longer reacting. The last test or experiment I'm going to do will happen in another room in our studios here. And there is a white painted brick wall here. And I will focus on the inside of one of those bricks, not on the mortar and the boundaries. And we'll put the three cameras to test and see how their autofocus system is reacting to that super low contrast situation here. For that last experiment, I put all cameras to a manual ISO of 100. 
so no auto ISO any longer. And you see here first the Leica Q2 with color sensor and there are fails and also hits on that experiment. You see that I stay inside that brick, but I move around a little bit forward, backward, try to stimulate the camera to focus. And sometimes you see a red frame, most of the time you see a green frame, actually pretty okay. Repeating the exercise now with the Leica Q2 monochrome, you also see that the autofocus is spot on in that low contrast environment. Most of the time the frame is green. I actually think just by gut feeling I didn't count the hits and uh, you know potential fails, but it doesn't seem there are many fails. Here we had just three fails, then it started to lock in again, but it seems that the contrast autofocus on that monochrome sensor has it slightly easier to deal with that low contrast situation here. For the Canon EOS R5, that low contrast situation inside the white brick is a piece of cake. It locks on the focus all the time. There is not a single fail here and the excellent autofocus system of the EOS R5 based on face detection is just easily dealing with that situation here. Coming to conclusions, first of all, the difference in contrast autofocus on the color sensor and the monochrome sensor of the Leica Q2s was not really big. I'm not even sure if, if we would do this scientifically, we can actually prove that the monochrome sensor is superior to the color sensor. Having said that, when shooting at the white brick wall and staying inside this white low contrast brick, I think the monochrome sensor in the Leica Q2 monochrome had it slightly easier to deal with that situation than the Leica Q2 with the color sensor. And that is matching my intuition and also the intuition of that blogger on camera Jabber, which I showed before on that little screenshot from their website. In general, the autofocus system on the two Q2 cameras works very, very well. And given that this is only a contrast autofocus, I think it's an excellent autofocus system. There are situations where it might become challenging to get the focus locking in but in general it works very well and is fully in line with the observations of other photographers. Of course, if we compare the Q2s, which are intended as compact rangefinder type cameras with an optimized autofocus system like we have it on a Canon EOS R5 based on face detection, the Q2s cannot compete in terms of speed and being spot on when it comes to autofocus with a camera of this category. Bearing in mind that the Q2s are built as compact rangefinder type cameras with a built-in autofocus, which works very well. As I pointed out, it is okay to accept that the EOS R5, which is optimized for quick autofocus and spot-on sports photography, is superior when it comes to autofocus. That doesn't come as a big surprise to me. So I'm inviting people who watch this video and have access to the Leica Q2 monochrome as well as to the Leica Q2 with color sensor, why don't you drop me a comment and share your experience? Do you see a noticeable difference in autofocus behavior? Do you also believe, based on the hypothesis I said in the intro of that video, that the monochrome sensor actually should make it in some situations easier for a contrast autofocus to lock in? Then drop me the comment, let me know what you think. If you liked that video, don't forget to drop me a thumbs up. You're invited to subscribe to my channel. There's always more to come. Thanks for watching and peace out.